I was inspired to become a researcher because I'm naturally a very curious person and I love to find out how things work and I'm especially fascinated with human disease, why things go wrong in people and how you can fix them. And I'm very, very lucky to be able to do that kind of research where I can actually work on a problem that's important to humans and hopefully down the road um, lead to better treatments so that people have a better quality of life. One of the most significant challenges facing Canada today is the increasing number of people in chronic care facilities and in nursing homes. If you think of what are the disorders that these people have, it's chronic debilitating disorders like dementia, stroke, arthritis and blindness. One of the greatest challenges facing Canadians and Western society as a whole is the disease of stroke. The stroke affects about one million people in North America every year and is the number one cause of disability worldwide. So one of the biggest challenges in our healthcare system is that there's going to be an increase in prevalence of age-related vision loss. So we have a lot of adults who are going to lose a significant bit of their vision and the reason for that is that most of these conditions that cause this vision loss are unfortunate consequences of aging. Arthritis affects one out of three people over the age of 65 and the economic burden to the Canadian economy is over 20 billion dollars. The direct and indirect cost of uh, health care for arthritis is staggering and it really affects patients quality of life. The Rimmel Discovery Tower is giving us cutting-edge facilities, state-of-the-art environment, and really letting us all work together in a collaborative way to achieve these goals, the design and development of new game-changing therapeutics which will help people with the chronic diseases that really have a heavy impact upon the medical and economic health of our country. My lab is actively involved in trying to transplant cone photoreceptors. These are the cells that are the culprits that are lost in age-related macular degeneration and we're trying to see if by transplanting new cells we can restore vision. We anticipate that we might actually have a treatment for stroke for Canadians and for people worldwide in three to five years. The Crumble Discovery Tower will allow us to address this challenge of arthritis by working in areas of research around stem cells and biology of osteoarthritis so that hopefully we can understand how arthritis occurs so we can find new biological solutions for treating arthritis and also with using stem cells hopefully one day we can replace cartilage that's worn out biologically rather than doing joint replacement surgery that we do today. Several months ago we were very excited about moving into the Kremble Discovery Tower. Now we're excited about the results that will come from the research that happens in this tower.